Style Rock. Ragazzacci di Virgin Radio, un saluto da Ringo, oggi abbiamo un amico che arriva dall'America, lo voglio presentare un po' come si presenta la sua band sul palco. You want the best, you got the best, the hottest bass player in the world, Gene Simon. Ciao Gene! Ciao! Come stai? How you doing? Bene, bene! Be- ma, ma you speak Italian, I love you! <laughs> no! <laughs> so Gene, let's start by talking about the, the release of... A kiss of the soundboard introduce the album to your fans italian fans well we're very excited <clears throat> when we were in japan last time we played the stadium there and to 55,000 crazy fans and uh, off the soundboard direct from what it sounded like in the audience we recorded the concert and everybody was going crazy and we wanted to share that concert with the rest of the world as a live album so there are no overdubs there's nobody uh, re-recording the tracks it's just exactly the way it happened in Tokyo not too long ago do you have any special memories of the concert at the Tokyo Dome in the front of what that 55,000 people well of course you know for a long time Uh, the Japanese were not allowed to stand up from their seats. When we first went and played uh, Tokyo, we broke the Beatles record. And played four or five nights in the arena. And in those days, there were policemen with dogs. And you were not allowed to stand up. You had to sit down. But modern Japan is crazy. So they were jumping up and down like locusts from the Bible, you know, from the Ten Commandments. It was very exciting. Gene, Kiss have always been uh, forerunners of the, what the experience of a, a live concert is. And this is true from the very beginning. How does a new Kiss tour uh, come about in your head? We definitely have plans of coming back to Europe. Italy is one of our favorite places, of course. Pasta al dente. Only in Italy can you get a good <laughs> dish. In the rest of the world, they make it too soft. Uh, and uh, as they say in New York, ganol, basically gano- cannolis. Cannoli. Some of my favorite things. This the is... New York Italians, you know, have a different accent. Yeah, <laughs> but I understand. Yeah, I love cannoli too. The Sicilian one. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So we're looking forward to it. And of course, The Coliseum, the beautiful women, the great history. We're looking forward to coming back. Uh, Gene, you recently stated that Kiss is the hardest working band in music. Do you want to explain to the new generation who won everything and immediately uh, what does it mean to work hard? Well, uh, you know, if you're a fan of BTS or Justin Bieber or <laughs> any of the new pop uh people or bono or jagger they're all fantastic they're all important people but you have to understand being the hardest working band in show business actually means something so imagine you have to wear 45 pounds of additional weight the the guitar the bass that i play is very heavy it's about 12 pounds 12 to 15 pounds Both of my dragon boots, each boot weighs over 10 pounds. Wow. And they're eight inches tall, the dragon boots. Then you have studs, armor, and everything else. So you have to walk around, run around on stage for two hours, spit fire, fly through the air. And if you put Jagger or Bono or Bieber into my outfit, they would pass out in a half hour. That doesn't mean they're not great at what they do, but nobody can do what we do. Gene, what do you think uh, there was a no generational change in rock in the last 20 years? Well, it's very sad because once uh, streaming and downloading came in, uh, they basically killed new rock bands. Um, And that's because, you know, if something becomes worthless, If you don't pay for it, then new bands don't have a chance. So 
even Foo Fighters is over 20 years old. There are no new big rock bands, none. And the fault of that is fans who download and file share and pay almost nothing for new bands. And that's very sad. Uh, when the world stopped, you were in the middle of the, your end of the road world tour. How you have been this last year and, and a half? Well, the pandemic hit everybody hard. Uh, I have two vaccines now, so I'm okay. But we were inside of a house for a long, long time. We went up to Canada, where there are very few people. And I took up painting, and I got involved in cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, and read a lot of books. <laughs> I read a lot of books, wrote a few songs. But the world is getting better. It's going to be okay. Sorry if you smile, but I, always, I can't think about the demon sitting on the sofa and reading a book. <laughs> I, see, I see you even at the night with a, a bass and guitar on your hands. It's my personal uh, view of you. Um, I know you went to Nevada. We, uh, do you still miss Los Angeles or, or it's better to stay in Nevada? I'm, uh, I'm okay being in uh, any place. I could live anywhere, but... The, uh, in California, especially in L.A., which is great weather, uh, you have earthquakes, and every year there's a million acres of uh, forest that burns. They can't control the fires. Graffiti, gang members, there's lots of problems there. And the taxes. Taxes are just too high, and I refuse to pay to them. I don't think government does a good job of doing things i much prefer to give money to charity or invest in companies i don't want the government to do that they're not qualified so nevada has a lot of sunshine that's true but otherwise no income tax no local tax no state tax and no inheritance tax much better It's Nevada. I, uh, the spirit of Elvis is still there. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about Elvis. But do you like Elvis Presley, Jim? Well, of course. And if you, uh, you can Google it, Graceland is where the Elvis Museum is. And believe it or not, they have a kiss, oh. a kiss uh, display at Graceland, at Elvis's Graceland. <laughs> you can look it up. You put Elvis Presley, Graceland, Kiss Museum, and you'll see it. Oh, thanks for, for the info. Listen, Gene, if you met the early 70s, Gene, what advice you will give uh, to him now? To see uh, a, a young Gene? <laughs> well, I, it's, it's the same thing I tell all new uh, artists. Stop drinking, don't use drugs. It, you know, it just doesn't work. It doesn't make you smarter. You don't run faster. You don't get richer. And you're schmeckle doesn't get bigger nothing happens don't do it he could have lived a long time let's go back to to talk about kiss uh, and you were the first to return to to play live uh, with the big concert in dubai was it your idea to want to enter the guinness of book of, of records uh no it it happened naturally the people in dubai very nice people invited us to play new year's eve And we, of course, said, this is uh, dangerous. It, the, the virus was still out there. And they said, you can have your own apartments and close the door on the jets. You can stay on your own floor. And uh, this will be broadcast live to hundreds of millions of people around the world. And there will be very few people at the concert. And they said we could make the fireworks as big as we wanted to. So, so we did it. We were the first band to play live uh, in the pandemic in Dubai, New Year's Eve. Kiss are famous for always doing so many things. Uh, how it works when you don't, don't agree with the, on something? Oh, that's okay. These are small, small disagreements. You know, which song could be in the set which song goes after which song. Those are small ideas. Um, as long as everybody is straight, no drugs, no alcohol, 
then you can work it. Then you can disagree on all kinds of things. And uh, we're very happy about the uh, this new live album that just came out. And you can see when the band is working together, it's really good. A lot of energy, a lot of stuff. We're very proud of it. I want to ask you something like, uh, to you, Gene. Who is your best friend in rock, if you have one, and why? Well, I'm sure it's Paul, you know. I don't, uh, my mother only had me, so I'm an only child to my mother. I guess Paul is the brother I never had. But that doesn't mean we agree on everything. It's also true that an Italian coin on one side will look completely different than the other side. But it's, they're both part of the same coin. Uh, what's your, what is your relationship with Italy and Italian fans? And when you come here, you feel okay? Do you like to play here in Italy? Oh, I, we love it. Are you kidding? The, uh, the amazing history. Uh, I used to teach sixth grade in New York City. I was a teacher. And one of the things uh, we talk about a lot is the the astonishing uh, advances in science, architecture, art, all kinds of things that Italy has made over the years. And the, you know, the, the Romans, it's true, they conquered the world, and it's true they were slaves, things like that. But the advancement in art, the architecture was just beautiful. And, you know, throughout the world, to this day still, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, nobody touches them. Uh, da Vinci, in particular, is an amazing human being. The idea of being an artist, an architect, an inventor, a sculptor, really amazing. Gene, we are waiting for you next year in Verona, um, in one of the most beautiful we can't, venues. We can't wait. We can't wait. And when we first went to Italy a long, long time ago, you know, we played... Uh, outdoors uh the opening band was a band we took out on their first tour it was a group called iron maiden <laughs> <laughs> and then later we took out another band on their first tour called bon jovi so we played everywhere but the saddest thing is we never had Rita Pavone opened the shows. That's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, how did you know Rita? <laughs> oh, oh, my I'm God. a big fan of lots of Italian music. Are you kidding? PFM and a lot oh, you, of very exciting. Bands. Oh, you like a PFM, so you like even... Oh, yeah, yeah. very great musicians. Pro, Italian Prague. <laughs> That's right. But you can't say Prague. You, we, what, what it means is to play that music, you have to be really good. Gene, can I ask you something? If you will come to your room, your private room, which kind of record do you have from the past or, or from now? Do you listen to any, any records at home? As you know, records are no longer something that most people have. So friends give me uh, combinations of songs. So it goes, it's everything from... Uh, Bruno Mars, who I think is very good. Billie Eilish, I'm a big fan. I think she's a very interesting artist. But it goes all the way back to Ray Charles, James Brown, uh, early Rolling Stones. You know, you have to understand that music is like evolution. Sure. And if you don't study the past, you won't understand the present. So it's very sad to hear uh, people just come on these shows where all you have to do is sing without roots, without understanding anything about music. So that's not serious for me. Uh, you, when an artist comes out and they know and respect what came before, a tree can only grow really big if it has deep roots. That's great. Gene, I'll let you go. I want to say thanks to you. We hope to see you soon in Verona. Noi ci vedremo a Verona. We're waiting for you. And um, we're going to eat some pasta together if you want. I will take you to the nice restaurant in Verona. Okay? I look forward to it. We want flowers on the table. Pasta okay. al dente. Pasta al dente. With Va some uh, marinara, stuff okay. like that. And around the room with the flowers, beautiful women.
va bene, donne, fiori e buon cibo in Italia per i kiss. Gin, we love you, we wait for you in Verona, ok? Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Rock and roll. Virgin Radio, style rock.